What's up, everybody? It's me, Mopar Matt. Obviously a little uh, sweaty, but that's okay. I've been working on a car for most of the day. Um, <clears throat> uh, what you call? Um, got a quick video. At least I'm hoping I can make it a quick video. Um, I got a mini haul, some recent mail finds, and I got some news on a trade that I've been that I started um, which will net me something very nice so in the interest of keeping this short I'm going to get started right away um, two days ago um, I had to run a parts store and get some stuff done there for a car I was working on and it just so happened that they were near this parts store was right near Toys R Us, so I went into that Toys R Us, and I found me a couple goodies. Um, hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, right now is very busy. Um, Anywho, back to my finds. Um, of course, it's by no means a secret. I'm going after all the cool classics. Well, I found another one. Oh, there you go. Got me number 26. Got me the Datsun. Very nice. Will look great on the rack. And my other Toys R Us find... Um, is this guy. Wow. There she is. Trailer. Of course, we got the truck. Uh, let's see if I can get the uh, production number to show right. Come on. Do it. Uh, it's not going to show clear. I don't know if you can see that, but that's 0934. I was thinking about cracking this one, but being it's what I consider a low serial number, I ain't going to crack it just yet. I'll wait till I can find another one of them and crack open the higher number one. Um, today, when going to a parts store, for a different car, um, my parts store luck showed up again, and I found this, one of the uh, 2015 T-Hunts regulars that I've been missing lately, so eh, now I don't need so many to catch up, but um, the trade that I hinted at earlier um, for a decent sized box filled with cars I was able to find myself sorry guys um, I was I was able to find myself um, number 27 cool classics the uh, dots and bluebird which makes number two I'm going to eventually have in my possession. Um, so that will end up putting me at 59 out of 60. The only one I will be missing, which I will be buying off of eBay, is once again that number 11 white stripe AMC Rebel machine. I'm going to buy that off eBay. I am finishing my cool classics. Now, pardon me for another few seconds here. I got to process something so I can show you the mail finds. Um, now, everyone knows that when these things first came out, I said I wanted them really bad. 
Um, and I know I was never able to find one out, one of them out in the wild. So I had to go through a Facebook group and catching the right people at just the right time and just the right price. Um, and I bided my time and I finally got what I wanted. Um, so here we go. First off, from these are both 2014 cars. From the G Case 70 Chevy Chevelle Super. Check that out. Finally got, got my hands on one of these bad boys. And you all know my uh my routine when it comes to supers. So um I've already cracked open the regular versions. Already had these things in Protectos, so I'm not even going to bother showing you the regulars. But I do have to give a thank you, huge shout out to Granite Toys off eBay for hooking me up with the regulars of these two cars. Um, and this one, now that I've given it away, uh -huh, um, is the 2014 L Case 76 Greenwood Corvette. Super. There you go. Yeah, baby. This is another one on my hit list. The only one that's on my hit list right now that I have yet to attain is the Blue 55 Gasser. I want to pay for it. I don't want to trade anybody for it because I don't got a whole lot of stuff worth trading. So... That's why I, did, I didn't want to make a trade when somebody mentioned about it. Um, so, figured I'd put this video out for you guys. It's been a little while. I gotta go. I really have to go and get ready for work. But, uh, figured I'd get this recorded real fast. So, I'll see all of you later. And as always, it's me! Mopar Matt. Bye.